In this video we're going to be talking about the Fortric 462 black body calibrator. Uh, so this is the unit right here. Very, very simple unit. Basically plug and play. You literally just have to plug in the power cable to the back of the unit. If it gives you a little bit of, a, of an issue where it's a little bit loose, just go ahead and add a little bit more force to put the wire all the way in. Make sure it's there nice and tight. Like most black body calibrators, you'll notice that there is actually nothing. There's no, it's not a screen or anything like that, even though it looks like one of those old, uh, you know, tube TVs. It's not that. Um, it just has a black screen here. This is the area where your thermal camera will identify the temperature here. So whatever the software is set to, plus whatever the unit is set to, and basically calibrate and give you a better reading. A um, couple of things on the unit itself. You do have a ceiling mount, so you can use your standard tripod mount, basically one of the quarter inch ones. Um, and if you're mounting on the ceiling, of course, you'll be able to just mount it here. Um, if you're mounting it on a tripod, which you can do that, there is also a mounting option underneath. It's a very nice touch. You can do it either side. Uh, as far as the unit itself goes, as you can see, nothing to it. However, in the back, and this is what I like about this one, is that it's not set to a specific temperature. Uh, by default, it'll give you 40 degrees Celsius. However, you can also change this. So if you're looking for a black body calibrated replacement for your other thermal unit, not necessarily a Fultric unit, you can also use this calibrator here. Um, if we look at the unit itself down here, you're gonna notice there is two screens. So the first one here is the PV. So this is the present value. So whatever the unit is currently at, that's what that means. Um, again, it's currently set to Celsius. There's also a Fahrenheit option here. And then the bottom value, so that little green value there, that's the SV or set value. So the how this works is the top value, the big number here in white letters, is the current temperature of the unit and the set value is the target temperature. So for example, if I was to set this to 45, the PV value will continue increasing until it hits the 45 uh, threshold I've set here. Again, you can increase and decrease as needed. So for example, if we need to cool it down or if we wanna increase the temperature, it might be a little bit easier now that it's warmed up. Uh, notice that it's set, it's set up and the PV value will start increasing until it hits the target temperature down here, which in this case is set to 40.3. Um, again, you have to leave this for a couple minutes. That way it heats up, um, ideally mounted somewhere stable versus just holding it like I'm holding it. Now uh, the screen itself has a couple more settings. Um, again, you can change some of the units here if you wanna target a specific one here. So for example, I wanna make it 50. If I wanna bring it back, to the last one and I want to actually bring it down. This is where you'll be able to set that here. And you can have a couple more functions here available. Um, however, I don't recommend changing anything else on the unit. You'll only be using the, the first two here for that set value. Uh, you do have a power. If you want to just turn it off, you can do it from here or turn it back on. Uh, so again, nice little unit will help you with your analysis, screening body temperature. You can use this with multiple different types of thermal imagers as long as you set that temperature to match your software.